Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and Arteza, an art supply company, reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing their 48 piece glitter set. And I said yes, of course. So I decided that I would try to make my own glitter paper with this. This is what the box looks like. It shows you the colors that are included. And when you open it up, these are the glitters. The only thing I found problematic is that it does not show the color of glitter on the lid or give the name of the color on the lid. So I think that would be a nice touch to at least have that information so that you don't have to go through and pull out each one. I can go through and label them myself, but it would be much better if they were labeled on top. I've also looked at the glitters and they seem to have more of a consistency of, of sand rather than a glitter. The experience I've had with um, glitter is that, especially a fine glitter, is that it's, it's so thin it doesn't even have a texture. But this glitter seems to have a texture to it. What I wanted to attempt to do was make my own glitter paper and I've looked at several tutorials on how to do this with Mod Podge and just the color of cardstock close to the color of glitter that you're using. And in my case, I wanted to do some black cardstock for a few Halloween projects that I was working on. So in this video, I'm going to show you the two techniques that I tried and I'm going to show you the results for each. What I'm going to do is trim this paper down to a smaller size to work with and this is just regular cardstock I think it's probably a good idea to start out with a color that you want the glitter to be so if I was doing white glitter I would start out with a white cardstock pink pink cardstock and so on so I'm gonna Start with this. Here we go. So let's put this aside. We have decided to use this Amazon box. And I'm just gonna put a piece of cardboard down in the bottom. Give me a surface to kind of work on. And then maybe a piece of paper so that I can pick the paper up and dump off any excess glitter. Let's see how that works. So I also have some Mod Podge mat, and then I keep my sponge in a Ziploc bag so that I can keep it wet and use it again and again and not have to worry about washing it out. So let's card stuck in here. And I'm just going to put a coat of Mod Podge. I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I should just do it a little at a time. We'll find out together. This probably would have been a better way to do it is to just lay the glitter out on the paper and dip the paper into the glitter. I don't know. That's our first layer. And I think I'm just gonna set this aside to dry. What I'm also going to use is a sponge brush, some glossy, super gloss Mod Podge. I hope this is still good because I've had it for a while. And then I'm just going to use this recycled plastic container. Since I want black glitter, I'm going to start out with a quarter sheet of black cardstock. And this is just regular cardstock from Michaels. 
And I also want to protect my surface, so I'm going to put down some wax paper. Okay, so here is the wax paper. This is just some Dollar Tree wax paper. So put that down. So let's just get started. I'm just going to start with a small amount of this. I don't want to put too much even though I have this large container. So we're really working with a small surface and then just enough glitter to cover it I think should work then I'm just gonna take an O brush and mix that up I think I'm gonna add a little more glitter to this This is what it looks like. Apply it to our cardstock. And just lightly paint it on. Make sure I get all the edges. Need something to hold it down while I stroke. So I'm going to use my bone folder to just hold it in place because I can't find my tweezers. Okay, so that is done and I'm gonna let it sit and dry and see how it turns out. Okay, so now it is dry and I have to say, compared to the glitter paper that I buy in the store, I'm not impressed with this at all. It doesn't really have a glitter. I think the shine that you see is actually from the Mod Podge, not the actual glitter. I think maybe I can try a different color to see what happens. It may improve the outcome, but right for now, it really just feels like a shiny piece of sandpaper and it doesn't look glittery at all. So this is what happens when I mix the glitter in with the Mod Podge. This was my original try and I think it looks better and maybe if I go over it with another layer, that I'll have a better result. But this was my first try with just applying a layer of Mod Podge, then adding the glitter on top. So it is a more glittery finish. I would just need to continue layering it to give it a full coverage. So I think this is the better way to go. It's messier, but it is, it does work better. It does have a better finish. It looks more like glitter paper. So I'm going to continue working on that one and I won't use this method again. We'll go with this one. So that's it for my little experiment with making my own glitter paper. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed Please click the subscribe button and that little bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.